What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I'm here at Audi of Lakeland here in Florida with the new 2024 Q8 e-tron. Yes, the fully electric version of the Q8. Now for the 2024 model year, there's been some changes and I wanna let you guys know all about them and this specific model here done in Glacier White. Now with this, we have some new things with technology, we have some new things when it comes to options, features. So I'm gonna break it all down for you guys, take you around the vehicle and let you know all about the new Q8 e-tron. Let's go check it out. So we need to figure out what's new for the e-tron for the 2024 model year. Well, for this Q8, you're getting a redesigned front grille, you're getting redesigned lighting elements, and updated wheel designs. And you can also have the larger 106 kilowatt battery pack, which should give the Q8 e-tron models more range and the ability to compete with its rivals. Now, when you talk about the premium trim, well, that features 20-inch wheels, adaptive cruise control, air suspension system, heated front seats, and power adjustments with LED headlamps, a panoramic roof, four-zone climate control, a heated steering wheel, and leather upholstery. It's far from an entry-level model. Now, per usual, we gotta mention dimensions. Wheelbase, 115.1 inches, length, 193.5 inches, and width, 76.3 inches, with a height of 65.1 inches. Now, you can talk about a curb weight of 5,962 pounds. Remember, we have a battery here, so it's gonna be a little bit heavier than a regular Q8. Now, normally, when the hood is open, we're talking about powertrain. So, we do have a battery here, and let's talk about what we're looking at when it comes to the e-tron and its performance. So, the front motors are going to give you 189 horsepower and 228 pound-feet of torque. Your rear motor is going to give you 231 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. Combined power is 402 horses and 490 pound-feet of torque. And the battery is a liquid-cooled lithium-ion, which is 106 kilowatts. The onboard charger is 19.2 kilowatts, and the peak DC fast charge rate is 170 kilowatts. Now, this is transmission is going to give you a front and rear direct drive. Now, when it comes to overall performance, you're looking at a 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds with a top speed that's limited to 124 miles per hour. Breaking from 100 to 0 miles per hour is 325 feet. So, we're looking at something that is actually a great performer at the weight that it currently holds. So, when you talk about the front fascia here, it does not look like anything that's out there when it comes to fully electric vehicles because you know you really see these kind of super rounded off super fake front ends when it comes to plastic and aerodynamics and everything this actually looks like it has a motor in it i mean look at this aggressive design that is not completely closed off and covered up you see the Audi rings as your central focus here, all right? And that's obviously going to be where you first look. But then coming along it, you will see that the grill here, done in this beautiful silver finish, it looks really good with the feed-throughs here. Yeah, we have feed-throughs here because it all could have been like this. And then you would have definitely been able to tell it's an electric vehicle. But this gives it a little bit of diversity and a little bit of perspective and depth when it comes to the grill and you're actually looking at this wondering if this is actually a fully electric vehicle same when it comes to the rear diffuser done in the same kind of spec on the grill here with the grill surround here and down on the bottom here you will see that that's the actual feed through it's not closed off and it looks good again it gives it an aggressive and sporty look and it definitely shows that this thing is coming out to play now you will see the side vents here that have feed throughs as well and you can see that the airflow goes through there. You can see to the actual road and the pavement there, again, functional, all right? So again, that's our whole kind of, I wanna say theme here is functional styling, not just there to be plastic and be aerodynamic, but this actually does a little bit more when it comes to downforce and airflow. And you guys can see the full LED lighting, which we will have illuminated shortly. Looks really good on this model. And you guys will actually see that we have the Amber reflector on the side we have these that light up here on the side give it some more styling and lighting on the sides and then you will see the running light here that will actually be a switchback led and then the actual full led right there in the center so then take a step back and see it all from up front and again 
The e-tron looks very futuristic, but very aggressive, and it doesn't look like it's trying to be a fully electric vehicle when it comes to the first glance. Now coming along to the side profile, you will see our 20 inch five arm aero wheels, which actually look pretty good for an aero design with the bicolor finish. You also see the big calipers there tucked under, and we also have the Goodyear Eagle Sport tires to finish it all off. Now I do like that the wheel wells are painted in the color of the car, which is that glacier white, which looks really good. But then we come along the side profile, and you guys will see that the glacier white shines, but we also have the contrasting, I wanna say side skirt, cause the side skirt is kind of more here, but just kind of the body color kind of, I don't wanna say side skirt. I mean, it looks kind of like a side skirt, but either way, it's a design here that breaks up the whole side paneling of the car. It gives it a sharper and aggressive look and gloss black. Now then with the mirror cats, you have a bicolor finish because you have white and then black surround. And you also see that in the mirror cat, we do have the turn signal there. You guys will see that illuminated shortly. And then the body color door handles with the aluminum trim going across the window moldings, the black finish on the B pillar and C pillar here, and then the aluminum to go for the roof rails. So you have the symmetry there when it comes to the black and aluminum and white. And then at the roof, we have the panel roof so you guys will see that we have some in the front, some in the back. It doesn't carry all the way to the back, but the backseat passengers will see that um, sunroof and we'll see that in just a moment. So you guys take a look back and see how you like the side profile of the e-tron compared to the front. But let's take it to the rear. Now the rear to me actually looks really cool, aerodynamic and something futuristic. I mean, look at the integrated tail lamp, the third brake light here and to this swooping kind of spoiler that goes across here over the glass with the side blades done in black and then your wiper right there in the middle. I really like that design, very clean, but let's talk about very clean because these Tron-like tail lamps, full LED sequential tail lamps going all the way across with the light bar here, the Audi rings in the center done in aluminum and black with the outline in black. And then the tail lamps have the reverse lamp integrated inside of them that looks really cool and again it just makes it a sleek and seamless design now then you come down here you have the q8 badging on this side done in black and then the rear diffuser looks really cool obviously we won't have exhaust tips because it's a fully electric vehicle right but we have a aggressive and not just a flat and rounded out diffuser that actually has lines and it has some sort of perspective when it comes to just looking at it with depth and then you have the e-tron badging integrated into the rear diffuser. With that also, the reflector is going across. It comes together so nicely. And again, it looks very futuristic and very much like something you would see in a Tron movie. So since we have our animation for the headlights, I'm actually gonna do the lighting in two different sections here. I wanna show you what it looks like. Now I unlock the car. And now for the tail lamps, we'll unlock the car. Now, as we know per usual, the full matrix LED lighting from Audi is unmatched. They are the best in the game when it comes to it. And you guys can see it here today. Check out the lighting. Switchback LEDs going from amber to bright white. You can see the running lights down the side there in the four different strips. The amber reflector is even illuminated. And then the full LED headlamp right there shining bright. Now, that's not all we have because if we come along to the side here, you also see the turn signal here is in the mirror cap. Looking really cool, broken up into different strips, not just one single piece across. And then the tail lamps looking just as good as the headlamps when it comes to the sequential tails. Just like the headlamps, the same flavor. How awesome does that look? Now I know this seems obvious, but there is no engine underneath. You have to remind you that this is a fully electric vehicle. So what do we have here? Well, we do have some extra stowage, two cubic feet, because we do have electric components all around. You know, you can't get the most out of the front, but you do have enough to lift up. This here where you have extra space, lighting for at night, which is very nice. And then you have your charger here, for the e-tron so again it's enough space to get a couple of things and two cubic feet but i think it's perfect for a front because we have plenty of space in the rear it's just nice to at least have something 
and make this somewhat functional and make it clean looking to where it doesn't seem too jumbled up, too messy, and really just to just overall overwhelming to open up and try to find you know where you would have your extra space and stuff at they did it very cleanly love the cover love the overall design i think it just it looks perfect there's nothing really i would add to this now let's talk more about this charger because this is a 9.6 kilowatt ac charger and you also have the ability to have a 170 kilowatt charging that will give you 80 percent of battery in 30 minutes for that fast charging setup now when it comes to this model, you'll get around 285 miles per charge. Now keeping with everything for the charging aspect, we're not done yet because we press unlock and we press the plug button here and we talk about our charging because every e-tron comes with a 170 kilowatt charger which we just saw and that will allow you to replenish about 80% of your battery in 30 minutes. Now the combined city and highway we're looking at 87 84 and 90 mpge and when you talk about cargo space in the rear you can see that we have a majorly majorly high opening tailgate look at how high that thing goes you have plenty of space back here 27 cubic feet with the seats folded up but then when you take this 40 20 40 split seats and take them all down you're looking at 55 cubic feet of space now again tons of rooms you, i mean obviously you can get anything in here you also have a privacy shade to help protect it right here which is very high quality as you guys can see in the material now aside that you can fold those seats down using these triggers on each side here just so you guys can see that and then obviously you have a little extra storage on the side 12 volt plug in there and then netting here to hold a couple of things as we see we have some lug nuts here now we also have our floor mats here our cargo mat here and then if we were to lift this up where the aluminum side still is being protected well we do have a false floor lift that up extra space down there as well and then a spare tire there so we have everything we need when it comes to extra space protection and practicality when it comes to the QA e-tron. Now before we step inside of the e-tron, let's check out the key fob that we have here because it's a beautiful gloss black with aluminum siding and we have the lock button up top, we have the trunk release in the middle, and then we have the unlock button right there on the bottom with the Audi rings and the physical key actually would slide out from the sides here. You can see that we have like this indentation on each side here. You can pull this down where this ring is here, the key ring, and actually pull out a physical key as well just in case that battery does die now i had to do it off camera because i'm doing it with one hand but you guys can actually see the physical key right here by me just pressing the button and sliding it down same with just sliding it back on and popping it on so just to show you the demonstration that is it now let's talk about this interior beige for the colorway and black for the other way so you guys can see we have a two-tone here and it looks so beautiful talk about luxurious perforated leather the stitching you can see that this is ventilated and cooled seats as you guys can just see right off the bat by seeing the way this is set up now you can also see that we have our floor mats here with the e-tron logo for the weather floor mats you see our pedals down there that have a nice kind of honeycomb pattern and then on the door paneling you will see exactly what we're working with again seeing the interior setup you'll see that this is basically what we're going to be seeing inside with the soft touch plastic in black and in beige with the soft touches and the stitching on the armrest and the center door cards the really nice aluminum window controls and locks and everything here gives it a different flavor and feel it's not just a glossy black or just a plastic look it actually gives you a nice kind of setup when it comes to the physicality of the buttons and the overall feel then you also have your memory seating right here down on the bottom and your trunk release down here with the bowers uh, sorry not bowers bing and Olsen sound system with the speaker here and speaker here aluminum going across that again you can kind of see that this is going to be a nice place to be just looking at the door carts and the paneling aluminum for the side so before we get in and our seat adjustments right here on the side so then we step inside of the vehicle now let's close her up because we're in a good spot here look at this now one thing the door paneling did leave out was the natural wood inlays that you will see going across the center console here and on this side here 
So this really ties it all together when it comes to luxurious feel. And then the e-tron badging in gloss black there going across over the glove box with beige and aluminum for the button there. And that's, wow, that opens up pretty wide there. All right, so this is already shaping up to be a nice spot. Now you guys can see the steering wheel here covered in leather with the e-tron setup here that gives you the rings, that gives you the gloss black on each side, that gives you the aluminum going across here. Good places to kind of hold. You got different positions, however you want to hold this, you know, steering wheel. So it makes it comfortable for you to just have different places to grab and rest your arms. Now you can also see that we have paddle shifters on the back as well for both sides and they are um, steering, wheel, steering wheel mounted for both paddle shifters. And then we have stocks on each side as well. You guys can see our lane keep assist stock and lighting control on that. And then our windshield wiper on that side with our driver assistance control right there. All right, so you guys can see cruise control and everything there. Now, going underneath here, you will see there's a little handle. Yeah, that's a good cubby hole to put your insurance, registration, anything like that case you get pulled over for some spirited driving in your e-tron now when we get to the screens we'll turn those on in just a moment because we have a couple but i want to go over a couple of things before that now this is a nice setup down here in the middle and with it having 53 cubic feet of space for the front seat passengers it really utilizes the space when it comes to all of this now to turn everything to life because we do have two screens here that we'll get to in just a moment and uh, we have to talk talk about this you know center console here so the center console will give life to this 10.1 inch screen and it's 8.6 inch screen below it so foot on the brake and press the start button now keep in mind that this is an electric vehicle all right so you're not going to hear anything at all obviously you will hear chimes and see things coming to life and your hvac vents will come on so that will give you some sort of feeling of the car being on you know and ready to go um so that's something you have to keep in mind that it's it's you know something that it's a learning curve to get used to now we're gonna turn on the music because we don't want any copyright and we'll talk about this center stack and then we'll get into the screens so we press the start stop button already to turn everything to life. We also have our parking camera there. So we press that and you can see that we have our parking camera set up. Now we can do all kinds of stuff. You can do 3D, which is really cool because you can move it in real time and you guys can see exactly where I'm at on the lot, which these kinds of technologies and cars just should be implemented automatic. It shouldn't actually even be an option or anything. It should just automatically make it that much easier for you when it comes to just parking, pulling out, driving, safety in general. Now, if I press this here, that will actually give us driver assistance there where you guys can see maximum individual and basic so you can change different things when it comes to the driver assistance. All right, then our radio controls there as we saw. All right, so we know what that is all about. You can also see our drive mode selector here. Now, that's kind of different for you, right? This is actually where you would hold your hand nice and soft, gives you a nice place to put your hand, right? And then you would use this as your drive mode selector here. You don't press these, all right? So it's actually this whole unit here. Now, this is for resting. This is for pressing, all right? So up is going to get you to neutral or reverse. Down is going to get you to drive. And P is going to get you to park. So the demonstration here, put my foot on the brake. And I'm in reverse. You can see the cameras come up. Press P. I'm in park. Go down. I'm in drive. Press P. I'm in park. All right. So that's a good way to show that. And then if I were to tap up, I'm in neutral. Then P. Park. So really clean design. As you guys can see, there's not. You can't really go any. Not put anything through that. In the middle, there's actual part. Not a partition here. So it's actually just nice to have this here. And again, you can easily rest your hand on and do that, and just kind of hang out with it there too as well electric parking brake there and then we have this center stack now you're wondering why is there a big hole here what is, what is going on under here well this actually has our 12 volt it actually has cup holders there and some extra space and storage there as you guys can see all right so there's actually a reason for it all right <laughs> and then you guys will see we left this here we have a little bit of space underneath there now you're wondering, where's our phone charger? All right, so now that I can kind of reach around with the camera, you guys can see there's actually a place to put your phone. There's actually a little logo there with the phone charging there. So, put it right there. 
and it charges the phone. It's out of your way so you're not distracted and it's in there and charging. It's a good thing. Now while the top of the screen here, like I said, 10.1 inches is used for things like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all the apps, the audio and everything, the bottom is more for comfort, charging, and everything else when it comes to that. When I say everything else, it's not just the HVAC and everything like that, that you can see, I mean, front and center. But when I press the Hilda sitting button, you can see we have that there. Also, we have our program buttons here to where we can kind of set this up to where we have a two screen. You press home, you can program your garage door opener. Charging, obviously you press that, that's gonna be for charging. If I can get out of that, so you can see the charging progress and everything there. And then that's actually to turn off the display. Now, there's something else pretty important down here, not just the HVAC, again, our drive mode selector. We'll get to that in just a moment. Rear and front for the HVAC, so you guys can see for the defroster, the hazard button there. And this is all haptic, so you like press that and it's like, it clicks, but it's not like an actual button. And then you also have your traction off button there. But then let's talk about the drive mode selector it's right here because pressing that is going to give you your different drive modes so you see that pop up there with efficiency comfort auto dynamic and individual so you can select it by pressing up and down here or you can use the actual screen up top so again very intuitive when it comes to this operating system now again using this again you use all the things like your phone controls navigation radio all that stuff is here and it's Audi's, I mean, impeccable system when it comes to Intuity, when it comes to just overall functionality and everything working at a click. And it's all had to control. So again, you feel a vibration and, and everything when you press this. So it's actually kind of pretty, pretty neat, you know, to actually be able to do that um, and just feel like there's some response instead of you just pressing a cold touch screen. Um, so other than that, guys, it's, it's a great setup that we know and love from Audi. And then our digital speedo here, you guys can see that letting you sh i mean you can customize this thing like crazy as you guys can see we have our boost and charge and everything on this side but we can change it i mean we also have our speedo here and miles per hour on this side all of our driver assistance are down there our lighting controls our range at 281 miles per there the radio controls we have it on mute phone all that day and time i mean it's all there and again we can change it we have our buttons on each side to do different things. So obviously this is gonna be more for the screen. This is gonna be for your hands, hands free controls and radio. So you can see all of that there. So just to show you the screen, I just press view and you can see it changed, didn't it? <laughs> so that's cool. But you can also scroll through menus and everything here on this button here by going up here and scrolling through so you guys can see. I can change all that there. I can press view and do it again. Run the center. I can go left and right and change things. You can see I put my navigation there. I mean, again, there's lots of things you can do with this. It's just really cool to be able to just customize it exactly how you want it. Audi did it very nicely, guys. It's, this is this is where you need to be. Now, you can also see that you do have your light controls on this side here. You get that to zoom in and focus. All right, so you can see your fog lamps there and your regular lighting controls here. And again, haptic buttons for all of this stuff. It's, again, just the, the technology and attention to detail is great. Up top, you will see our visor here, light there, all right? And then, right here, you will see your SOS, you will see your dome lights, you will see your uh, flood lights, puddle lights, all that stuff, and controls for your roof, all right? So to let in that, a lot of that natural lighting, which is a little overcast today, you will see that we will have the controls for all that there. But again, just a beautiful place to be when it comes to the interior of the Q8 e-tron. Now let's take a seat inside of the e-tron because we're getting 49 cubic feet of space when it comes to the rear. And as you guys can see, we get the same beautiful materials in the rear as we do up front. Look at the seating, perforated leather, the stitching, everything going throughout. This is definitely first impressions a comfortable place to be and you guys can see the door paneling giving you a lot of what we saw up front and letting you know a lot of what our spec is going to be in the rear with these soft touch plastics in the black you also have the cream color here as well with the aluminum flavor but we really need to step inside so we can get a full feel and wow okay yeah these seats are too comfortable i felt like i just fell into them and yeah i mean 
All right, so let's close this up. Pretty solid sounding thunk there. And also you can see the backrest and the netting here gives you a lot of stowage. Again, a great place to be, but we're not done because we have our climate controls. Dual zone climate right there. So you guys can see that. All right, like the camera zoom in. There we go. And then we also have our USB-C plugins right down there at the bottom. We have four mats to keep our cup carpets protected. And right here in the armrest, you will see the cup holders there. All right, so we have everything that we need when it comes to the e-tron here. Natural lighting from the roof. And again, beautiful when it comes to the interior. Same as you guys can see on the door paneling with the speakers, the cream colors, aluminum trims, hard touch plastics and black. Again, it's plenty of space, very comfortable, creature comforts, a, a, a great place to be. There's not much more to say. So let's talk about the price of the 2024 Audi Q8 e-tron Quattro. So your MSRP to start is $74,400 even. And then after the options we have here in the $1,195 destination charge, you're looking at $81,780. Now, how did we get there? Well, we got a couple of things here to spruce up our Q8 e-tron. And we're looking at that glacier, glacier white metallic paint at $595. The pearl beige interior is included. But then you have the premium plus package at $4,400. And this is going to give you a lot of your bells and whistles, like the automation for the headlights and tail lamps, the Bang & Olufsen sound system, dual paint acoustic glass for the side windows the heated rear seats led interior lighting package matrix design led headlamps the power lumbar and front passenger seat top view camera system with a virtual 360 view traffic sound recognition ventilated front seats and a wireless phone charger and you also have the audi beam rings for 485 dollars cargo cover for 360 and the audi guard protection kit at 345 dollars so that's everything we have here as far as additional options but so now let's look at the rest of the standard features because it comes with a lot right out of the gate so technical you have all your things there comfort and technology everything listed there make sure you guys if i'm going too fast make sure you pause the video zoom in take a screenshot safety and convenience right there and our warranty and maintenance right here now it's important to say for the warranty and maintenance that you have four years fifty thousand eight years a hundred thousand and twelve year limited warranty against the corrosion now what is the four year fifty thousand cover well that's the new vehicle limited warranty and the eight year 100 mile or sorry 100 000 mile covers the high voltage battery coverage so then again the 12 year is against corrosion and then you have four years of roadside assistance so again it's very important to pay attention to all of that when it comes to warranty because i know a few people you know for electric vehicles they want to make sure that they're taken care of and audi definitely takes care of you so again technical features there Comfort and technology here, a lot of stuff, guys. Safety and convenience, and then your warranty and maintenance. And that's how we get to where we are here today for the Q8 e-tron. So what did you guys think about the Q8 e-tron for 2024? The new options features this specific model with the glacier white and beige interior. What do you guys think about the technology range, everything? What's your favorite part about this car? Drop those comments down below. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and click the notification bells. But also, more importantly, check the link in the description for Audi of Lakeland's website and phone number so you guys can get this Q8 e-tron in your driveway today. And with that said, you guys take care, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.